in his own art, it is a great pleasure to welcome here an artist and to present Mrs. Uh, Itsuko Yamada, who is the winner this year for the Dido Rufino Prize. So she will present a very interesting work and we will share how uh, she, she can demonstrate that uh, traditional medicine and, uh, and art, how professional, healthcare professional and artists can join forces to really improve the life of chronic patients. So really, it is a great work you will share with us. short speech, probably to, to let us know a little bit more about her work on therapeutic education. Thank you, Isiko. Good morning, Mr. President, Professor Totti Florian, Professor Ryan Klein Blade, ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and dear friends. What an incredible honor to be receiving the Guido Rufino Prize today. The diabetes dialogue map and the integrated approach to diabetes education that combine the map with the pictorial representation of illness and self-measure, widely known as PRISM, are both the fruit of partnerships, some developed organically through working relationships others from strategically, and others born of sheer good luck. So I feel the true recipient of this wonderful prize are all the people who through friendship, collaboration, and mentorship have helped and inspired me over the years. Professor Jean Philippe Bassa, the people at his foundation, the educator of Jocelyn Diabetes Center, Professor Stefan Buhi, the creator of a prison who trained me in its use, my husband, Dr. Kenji Yamada, the staff members of Kenji Yamada Internal Medicine Clinic, the crew at the Education Center of Kenji Yamada Internal Medicine Clinic, and above all, the people who live with diabetes. It is my privilege to be part of this community of dedicated and supported professionals and individuals and talk to you as their representative. It all started with a small painting accompanied by a short poem, which I put up on a white wall in the waiting room of a new clinic Kenji opened back in 1991. A few weeks later, I replaced it with a new painting. 27 years old, and some 500 pieces later, it is still the most meaningful link that connects me with the visitors to the clinic. <laughs> My involvement in diabetes education program deepened in 1999 after our visit to Justin Diabetes Center, where I met and was much impressed by the passionate educators. The clinic's original program gradually expanded to include patient meetings, peer counseling sessions, lectures, cooking classes, fitness classes, weekend walks, newsletters, music concerts, skits, workshops, and the publication of our own textbooks. In 2006, Kenji and I took part in the ADA workshop on the effective application of the U.S. conversation maps. Our original map was informed by what we saw at that workshop, where the U.S. conversation maps were intended for use as an educational aid to help the patient acquire knowledge and skills needed for self-management of their issues. I decided I wanted to create a tool, or rather a medium, through which the patient could talk about their conditions in their own words, a medium with a relatable image 
that would gently do a patient in, encouraging him to narrate his own story. We called it the Diabetes Dialogue Map. The Diabetes Dialogue Map, produced in a laminated A3 size plasma, was first introduced in diabetes classes for newly diagnosed patients at the clinic in 2006. It was designed so as to create a free and invigorating learning environment. To our delight, most patients responded very positively. We discovered it worked particularly well as an individual intervention aid in the treatment of patients with complications such as cognitive impairment and autism. In the ensuing years, we have opportunity to give poster presentation on diabetes education program and diabetes dialogue as follows. It was on one of those occasions we met Professor Asa, whose wisdom and guidance we continue to cherish to this day. The dialogue map has been evolving through discussions and workshops held in Grimmels and Juneb under Professor Asa's leadership. The training session for PRISM provided by Professor Buhi and through the constant communication between Switzerland and Japan via Skype and email. The dual use of PRISM and dialogue map for treatment <coughs> initially proposed by Professor Asa has proven to have a synergetic effect. The presentation entitled Diabetes Dialogue Map and Prism, a compilation of findings collected over the years, was given at the IDF held in Melbourne in 2013 as a joint undertaking by the great team of people including Professor Asa, Professor Buki, Ms. Tijiana Asa, and Keiichi Yamada. And what a joy it was for me to be part of this group. I'm very gratified, and at the same time, very humbled that Dialogue Map helps a diabetes patient narrate their individual unique words from their own perspectives. The patient narrative is a portal that invites us in to join him on the journey he's undertaken. It invites others to come in, interact, listen, challenge, emphasize, and engage in a dialogue. It also liberates an narrator to change and move for the goal of his own choice, but it firmly demands him that he can't go it alone, since he is, like everybody else, only human, and needs a steadying hand or shoulder to lean on when he steps further. No man is an island, I should know as dialogue map certainly would not have been neutered into potatoes today. I would most likely do not be standing here in front of you today if I had been going it alone. So I'd like to conclude my speech with a salute to the people who have helped me along the way and to all of you here who walk alongside others always ready to provide support as their fellow travelers. Thank you very much for letting me share my story with you. Thank you very much, Ichigo, for this nice presentation. And thank you very much for the work that you have done for people with diabetes. And now we move to the second session. I invite the moderators, Joao and Tatiana.